All right, we're here with another viewer build. And if you guys remember when we were at Motorama, we put this one in the video and it wasn't quite finished then, but I told the owner when it is done, give me a call and uh, I'd really like to check this out. So this was my honorable mention, I think, for my viewer pick, but I'm here with Mike. How are you, man? I'm good. Good, what is it? It's a uh, 36 International with uh, Duramax diesel on it. Let's get into it, here we go. All right, so Mike, you're not the owner, but you're the no, builder? I'm the builder. Okay. I'm the one to put it together. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. How long have you been working on this? When did this project start? Well, this project started about probably two and a half years ago. Yeah, it's just been a lot of work. So. <laughs> <laughs> I have a fabrication shop, MTH Fabrication. We do welding, we do everything, and we build cars too. Gas and diesel, whatever. So how did this all start? It's an LBZ? LBZ, it was a 2006 GMC Express van with a Duramax diesel in it. So we took the body off, put the frame up on my frame table, Z'd the frame down and four linked it. And uh, we left the wheelbase the same. Took the cab, we cut it in four sections, stretched it and lengthened it, made it bigger. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> we cut it in four. We're bigger guys, so. To make it comfortable. Yeah, so, make yeah, it comfortable nice. because we want to drive it, right? Yeah, we want to enjoy yeah. it. The only part of the original hood is from here to here in the rat and the shell. The rest of it we made. You see under the hood? We do a lot of uh, stuff for processing plants and food grade stuff, so I love working with stainless, so that's why I did everything. Stainless for the tubing and that, so. Nice. So how much time do you figure you got into it? I, two years? Uh, that's almost full time. I would say 2,000 hours. Okay. That, yeah. Rough. I, give, rough. give or take, yeah. yeah just a lot. Give or take a few of, hundred hours, yeah. Yeah. No, that is awesome. You didn't need a standalone or anything, you just take the bats off to get it to run? So we just had a guy come in and knock out all the security. Here. Okay. We took the manifolds and we had them ceramic coated so they won't rust and all that. Yeah. So what's the transmission? For L85. Okay. So I just moved the motor back. Like we never rebuilt it or nothing. It's okay. that's how it was. Low yeah. mileage. I mean, we did some upgrades to it, but basically the same drivetrain. Okay. So I same just, rear end. Same rear end. 373. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Can we take it for a drive? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to take it for a drive, but I'm going with the owner's hands. If you're wondering why there's a different person in the cab now, but uh, it's actually his truck. He's just warming up to the camera. Nice. Go plug? No. No. We'll fire it. So, where did this idea come from? Um, you know what? Uh, well, 10 years ago, I went by this garage sale, and this this truck, this international truck, was sitting on a, on a 289 with a frame. I don't know what frame it was, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And took it home, parked it in the barn. We were going to go more ratty. Okay. You know what I mean? But yeah. then as we got going, then I kind of started seeing different things. Yeah, yeah. So. That sounds nice. I, of all the diesels, I think I like the Duramax sound the best. Yeah, the diesel thing always intrigued me. Okay. To have a, have a, you know, an older truck with a diesel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I think people appreciate the amount of work that went into yeah, it. Yeah, there is a thought that it. Yeah. Believe me, yeah. I, I know, I know how many hours are. You got kids? Yeah. 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 Three kids. And the, are they into it? Yeah. Well, my son, he's 34 years old, so okay. he's in. Yeah, he's. In Nice. It, and it was his van. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Farm van, but he's the one that drove it all the time, so now he thinks he's got total rights to this. These are so rare, such a rare truck, right? Oh, okay. International. Oh, yeah. so we're going to get so much hate for for not restoring it back to the original. Oh, that's no. awesome. I love it. That, that's no fun <laughs> in restoring it. No, no. <laughs> that's... 
it was just a cab and the hood basically cut it all apart and just used the outside shell of it like we built everything else so i have a pull max well it's a nibbler but the same as a pull max and i have a cnc table so i made a die to make all this oh and to make all this on my table and then we cut it and i made all the panels to go in between wow that's extensive oh, yeah. I mean, most people would just try to find another cab and start stitching stuff together well, that's the thing it's hard to find like these are so rare so i just bought the corner pockets from 46 chev pickup friend of mine that has a sheet metal shop he bent the sides for me then i built the rest of it and i built the tailgate we built everything <laughs> yeah, yeah very, very cool the what's the cow that blocks the hoses that and the, all the hoses go yeah. down and it's got fast fuel system okay all down and underneath of it so. oh nice so the bed is up pretty high is yeah. there something underneath it won't stay up i have to fix the shock okay oh nice that's awesome because we drive it yeah well we four linked it all the exhaust all the batteries we hit hit everything underneath the bed you cut out all the brackets and make all that like the, you I made all these yeah yep. none of that was bought i made everything you, you made every piece on the four link yeah on the truss and everything yep nice good for you man that looks incredible It changes it quite a bit because you kept the same wheelbase but moved the engine back. Yeah. So you move the cab back. Yeah. And you're sitting more in the middle of the vehicle than you are in yeah. the well, you're not in a van. In the van, you're sitting up top of the front yeah. axle almost. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Uh, what's the hood over there? I don't know, just because it knows it's about the length of okay. the air belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it kind of fit in there. Yeah, yeah. And I see you caged it? Yeah. Well, not, not caged. No, I don't say cage. Okay. Like the insurance company does not like cage. <laughs> and it's not cage. No, no, it's not but cage. I feel, but I feel safe. Yeah, you, right. <laughs> so it's a support structure. Okay, all right. Is that how you get away yeah. with it? Yeah. Right on. We'll have to oh, they gave, they gave me a heck of a time. This might be something we need to change here. Just move it over. Move ahead. it over yeah. here. I was going to say it just kind of kind of interferes with your yeah. steering. Yeah. So you got to like hand over yeah. hand over top. Yeah. I, I like the length. I like the look yeah. of it. And then that's parking brake. Yeah. Yes. gauges we put on our own sailing on gauges and then we got that edge system to go with it yeah go which a little, is a little extra which i oomph. we bought that after we had the gauges and if i was going to do another truck i'd just get the gauge cluster because it just plugs into the ecm and then you're done yeah yeah it runs everything <laughs> you don't have to worry about gauges look at i it. mean those gauges look nice and i like them but for not having a headache of wiring everything yeah, it's yeah, easier to, to run that and whatever yeah yeah and then what's the air conditioning unit in it i just vintage air you can buy the vintage air unit to tell the compressor not to turn on and off but it's basically just the gm compressor that's a gm and compressor they only have a certain compressor on the duramaxes it's not the same as a gas motor oh okay i heard a lot of people going to electric now um, yeah. because you don't need the so like a, fan belt right so like a heat pump yes yeah, well uh, an electric AC just for electric cars. Oh, yeah. There's a whole kit you can buy on eBay now. Oh, Put the I compressor under the dash, and then uh, it just turns on when it calls to turn on, and same AC condenser. Everything else is the same except the compressor just electric, huh? and then it has its own standalone unit. In it. Wow. Well, we upgraded the brakes to the drilled and slaughtered with the ceramic pads. Knocked half the weight off and yep. off the brakes. Off nice. the brakes. The only thing it doesn't have is cruise control, but. We might be looking into doing that. So. Okay. Sure, get a lot of uh, people's attention. Yeah. So, is there anything you would do different? Uh, not really. Not really. I, I, I think it's pretty much to where I think we wanted it. I wanted the bigger cab. It makes it comfortable. Like, yeah. I don't know how you feel on it. Yeah, no, I, I, you're like six three or. I, yeah, right there. The throttle might be. That would be one thing. You know. So, change a bit but 
I'm guessing that's the only one. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Other yeah. than that, I mean, you, if you sit over here, yeah, you'd be comfortable. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just right where your your yeah. foot on the throttle. I, right I have the same yeah. issue with the 55. It's just that throttle is just in the, yeah. the in the wrong spot. What's the turning radius? Uh, it turns better to the right than the left. Okay. So we need to. It's a put a rack. It's got rack and pinion in it. Yep. So and you'll notice it right now. Probably not bad. Yeah, it's, it's good a, enough. Yeah, good enough to go. Yeah. Right. Power windows. Oh, yeah. Oh, love it. And what's with the speed? Uh, I don't know. It's something that I guess. It, not not a gambling addict, are you? Yeah, oh yeah. I gamble all the time. So. Okay. <laughs> Farming's a big gamble. <laughs> Can I get two medium dark roast regulars? Thank you very much. How many pizza places in Dunville? That's crazy. Do we have five or six? Two side by side. Yeah. Well, the high school is here, so that helps them stay in business. All right, guys, well, that was awesome. Thank you very much for taking the time to yeah, letting us see it. Yeah. Mike, thank you very yeah. much. And as always, if you guys have a project, um, put it on our website, put your address on it. So um, if we're driving by, we might be able to give you a phone call or an email, say, hey, we'd love to check it out and get you guys on the, on the channel as well. Um, we really try to do these to guys get you motivated to get out there and work on it because once it is finished, man, it is, uh, it is well worth it. Um, better than anything you can buy off a lot um, any day of the week. So remember, get out there, work on it. If you're not filthy, you're not rich. There we go.